Hey guys and welcome back to Down Under. In this week's video we're going to show you the Telstra TV box office app. Also on the homepage we're going to just quickly show you first. Um, you can have a look at the latest blockbuster movies. Now it shouldn't be too far down. And as you see here the latest um, blockbuster movies from Telstra TV box office is. Okay, so that's it all there. So if you want to quickly scroll on the homepage, you can do that as well. So now we'll just go up to the app. As you see, it's right here. So you can click on this one. And we'll just wait for that to load up. And we'll show you all the different categories. Also, we'll show you if you have credit. And we'll show you how to set up your visa. Um, we'll show you that at the end of the video. So if you want to set up your visa or debit card, you can do that as well. We'll show you just how to do that and the prompts on how to do that. So first of all, you're going to have your latest blockbuster. You can buy them or rent them here. Now, if you hit the play button, what you can do here, you can play the trailer. So for example, if I hit the play slash pause button, it's going to play the trailer right here. So it won't take too long to load up. And remember, this is unmuted if you're a Telstra customer. So we'll just back into that. And you can scroll through all the others right here. Then if you click on it and you don't want to click on the trailer, don't hit the um, play slash pause, just hit OK. And when you hit OK, this will tell you if you can buy it and how much it rents for. So as you see, you can buy it for $17.99 and you can rent it for $5.99. As well as you can add it, add it to your wish list right there. Also, you can read a bit about it. Also, some other shows that you may like down here too that um, Telstra recommends. Oh, awesome. So now let's go to recommended. So this will go if you've watched basically anything on the Telstra TV box office. It'll give you like recommended. And basically this is what it's recommended for me. Right there. Then you've got new releases, movies. So these are all your new movies right here. And again, if you click on them, it's going to tell you exactly how much it's going to cost. So as you see, this one's going to be $14.99. And it's going to be $5.99 if you want to rent that. Now, I'm pretty sure that is SD pricing. So I think if we click on that. Yeah, so here we go. So for HD, it's going to be $6.99 as well. And this is where you can actually set up your payment method. So you can set that up right here. So if we click on this, um, as you see, it's going to get billed to my Big Pond account. Now, if you want to change that, just go onto the Telstra TV and go to that website right there, and you can change your details over there. Uh, if you want to change to a debit card or a Visa, you can do that right there instead of having it charge your big pond, okay? So now we go back. So I just want to quickly show you how to set up um, the payments there. So if you don't want to get in charge from your big pond account, make sure you change that over in uh, on the website. Make sure you change that to a visa. Um, I'm not actually sure if what all the payment methods are. I don't think PayPal's supported, so I think it's Visa, uh, MasterCard, and maybe account number. I'm not sure about that, too much sure about that. Or say new crime movies. So you can look at all the new crime movies right here. Or say you got comedies for you. So this is obviously going to work on based of what I've watched. So this is based on what I've watched. It's going to give me some recommended basically. Then you got the current comedies. So you can look at all the current comedies right here. Then you got adventure movies for you. So this is another thing recommended for me. Then you've got TV you should see. So this is TV you should see. Um, you'll see over here. Then you've got family. I'll just scroll down a bit. Here you've got powerful drama. And that's everything there. Now basically if you want to have a look at just de just say you want to dedicate TV shows. Basically what you want to do, you want to hit the star button on the remote. When you hit the star button, you've obviously got the option to go to just movies or TV. So for example, we're just going to go over to movies and then we'll show you TV. So, movies are going to give us a bunch of categories that we can look at. Now, we're not going to look at too many, but I'm going to look at a few of them. So, first of all, we're going to look at comedies. So, these are all your comedies available right here. And note, some comedies are going to be um, cheaper. So, the older comedies are going to be cheaper than the new releases. So, we'll see how much this one is. So, yeah, this one rents for $3.99. So, you can't actually buy this one. You can only rent it. So, some of them you can't buy. Some of them you can... Yeah. So as you see, we'll click on another one. And this one I think would be an oh only no, rental as well. Okay. Also, you can go down to your drama. So these are all your dramas right here. So you can look at all those. Obviously, you can click on it, find out a bit about it. And um, yeah. Now, note, not all of them do have trailers. So if we click 
on anything here you're not going to be able to see the trailer you can only see the trailer from the main menu okay so keep that in mind if you want to watch trailers you must watch it from the main menu like over here um, you can watch trailers over in this menu but when we go over to the menu we were just on over in movies you can't actually open the trailer so we'll just go to comedies Now you might be able to open the trailer over in here. Okay, yep, there's no option to open that trailer at all. Okay. And that's basically everything we'll look at there. Obviously you've got music and dance, so you can look at that here. And yep, that's basically everything um, under movies. Now, if you wanted me to look more into it, uh, let us know down below. Um, also, I've got a full article about it if you want to just read a bit about it, the price and, er and everything. You can go to gbtnetgo.com and um, go to the DUN section and we have a full little article of um, the Telstra TV box office. So if you want to take a look at that, feel free to. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to head over to TV shows. Well, just this TV, so we'll head over to TV. Okay. So as you see, the categories are really small. You don't get as much. So first of all, we're going to go over to action. So these are all your action TVs. Now you can purchase the episodes. Um, so if we click here, you can buy it as a set or you can just purchase any episode you want, which I think are $2.99. Yep, they're $2.99 each. And that $2.99 is going to be SD quality, same as the $14.99. That'll be SD pricing as well. So keep that in mind. Then you got comedies right here. So I'm not quite sure what comedies we're going to get. Um, with big, not big pond, uh, Telstra TV box office, you don't get the best amount of TV shows here. Um, you do get some good ones, but not you don't get the best TV shows. Same as drama. So you'd never be able to replace like uh, Telstra TV box office with iTunes TV shows because iTunes TV shows is always going to have more than Telstra box office. Telstra may change that in the future, but at this current point, it really does not have that much. As you see, you got the Flash here too. So if you want to watch the Flash, and you got all the way up to the fifth season. So you got the first season, and this is twenty nine dollars, and we'll see how much the new season is. Okay, so the new season is actually quite dear. It's $44. Okay. And now we'll take a look at reality. So these are all your realities right here. As you see, there's not too much here that you can watch. And that's basically everything there. Now we'll show you the search feature, which works actually kind of well. Obviously, you're going to have that, that hit the star button again. Hit search. And over here, what you can do now this is the option you've got an option to either search for movies now there should be an option to search for both but there isn't which is annoying a bit um so you can either search for tv shows or movies so we're going to just search for movies and for example we put a in it's going to search everything under a which is kind of cool here um i don't really like the way you have to scroll down but that's kind of how you have to have to do it it's a bit annoying how you have to do it that way let us know down below what you think so you can scroll through those right here and you can back out same as if we go to tv shows do the same put a see what tv shows are under a you're going to have all the different tv shows that pop up under a okay so now we're going to hit menu again and we're going to go to my library now because i haven't purchased anything and um, there's going to be nothing here but if you've purchased a movie or you've rented a movie, it's gonna pop up here. Same as with TV, um, it'd pop up here as well. But because I haven't purchased anything, nothing will pop up there. So if we hit the star again, and now you can go over to my wish list, and this will show you the wish list I've added right here, and I don't think I've added anything else. Yep, so that's what you can do there. Same as if we hit the star again. This is where we're gonna show you what you can mark with in settings. It's not too much you can mark with in settings, but we'll quickly show you. So obviously you're gonna have your Telstra ID right there. You've got your parent control, which you can lock, just in case someone goes on it, you don't want them renting. You can always lock that so they need to require a pin. Yep, see I've got a pin on right here. So just say anyone went on my Telstra 
um, Telstra box office app they need a pin to be able to purchase anything um, so that's always good to do it just in case you accidentally click on it by accident you are going to get that pin before you even buy it or rent it then you got your registered devices so this will just show your registered devices and what date that was so just see right there then you got your account credit so as you see my account credit is $111 um, and it shows you other credits that I have had as well and what date I got those on and tells you when your all your credit does expire so as you see all my credit does expire February 2021 also you can redeem a voucher so if you have a voucher code or something you can enter that voucher code in right there or you can go to their website and check that out then you got your uh, preferred payment method now you do have to set this up on the computer so if we want to select a certain payment method you are going to have to add uh, it on the computer because it's only going to show your Telstra broadband uh, payment method through Big Pond. Then you've got your transaction history. Now we'll see what this pops up. It should show a few movies. Okay, so it's only showing two movies. And as you see, these uh, this is how much it cost. And they are both in HD and it tells you um, what they were called. So that's in there and it tells you the exact date as well when that was. So if you want to look at your transaction history, you can always do that as well. Because if you're not sure why you were getting charged on your Telstra bill and you didn't think you rented it, you can always come to your transaction history and check if you actually did rent that. Then you got your the terms of use. Then you got frequently asked questions, the version. So that's that there. And we're back to the beginning with the Telstra ID. So that's basically everything with today's video. If you found it helpful at all, let us know down below. And if you want any information about it, uh, feel free to check out my website under the DUN area. Um, you can read a bit about it. I've got all the different prices uh, that I've got there. Also, I've got the link if you want to check out the biggest blockbuster movies on the Telstra box office. You can always check that out as well. But if you want more additional information, feel free to go to telstra.com.au forward slash Telstra TV. So thanks again for watching this video and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks again for watching.